What's going on guys, the SSM back again with another video. Thank you for stopping by and I hope that you're having a great day so far. Uh, before we get into the content, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all the support. The channel has blasted off. It's gotten so many more subscribers over the last few weeks. So if you guys could do me a massive favor and keep that trend going, subscribe to the channel down below and like the video so that it reaches out to a bunch of people who are interested in NFL content just like you. Thank you so much for all the support. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Uh, so obviously today, lots of new stuff going on in the NFL. The very first day of the legal tampering period. So tons of players moving, tons of agreed upon deals, tons of new contracts dealt out, lots of re-signings. A lot of stuff has happened today. Uh, and in this video, I'm going to keep it relatively short. I don't want to talk for too long here. Uh, but there are three guys that I want to talk about. All three of them relative to the Dolphins, and one of them not so much on my radar, but one guy who I think a lot of Dolphins fans were starting to talk about a little bit. So first guy on the list is Vince Beagle, linebacker from the Dolphins, and the Dolphins are in the final process of signing him back for a one-year deal. Uh, I'm really happy with that. I'd like to see what he can bring to the table on a one-year deal and if he can stay healthy. Uh, so for those of you who remember, Vince Beagle missed most of last year, if not all of last year, with injuries. Uh, but the year before and when he was on the field, uh, he played well. He, he brought value to the minutes that he saw on the field, got QB pressures. Obviously, we're not talking about a superstar or, I mean, maybe a starter. Uh, but for the most uh, for the most part, he's a rotational piece. He's not going to be a guy who sees a ton of time on the field. Uh, but when he is on the field, he makes an impact. So I am on board for Vince Beagle. I really like him a lot. Great locker room guy. Super team first type of player. And that is always, always valuable to your organization. So I'm on board with Vince Beagle. As soon as I find out the details of the contract, I will put it in my Instagram. And that's also kind of a shameless plug. For the Instagram, go check it out in the description down below. It's at the SSN official and I post daily content every single day. I take zero days off on the Instagram, always posting about the NFL uh, and especially around this time. If you guys are not fans of the Dolphins, go check out the Instagram because there is tons of content about every NFL team out there. Uh, so moving on from Vince Beagle, uh, second guy I want to talk about is Joe Tooney. Joe Tooney signed a massive deal with the Kansas City Chiefs. Super huge, five years, 80 mil. It's a lot of money. Uh, and this guy's relevant to the Dolphins because a lot of fans were talking about, we should go after Joe Tooney. This is someone who is established. He doesn't miss games. Familiar with Brian Flores, perhaps. Uh, but to me, I wasn't as interested in Joe Tooney, mainly because I feel like our interior offensive line, aside from center, is pretty well set. And, you know, I would like to see guys like Robert Hunt and Solomon Kinley develop before I say, yeah, let's deal out a huge contract to another interior offensive lineman. So to me, he wasn't as much on my radar. I figured he would demand a pretty high contract. Uh, and so because of those reasons, I just I wasn't super into the idea of Joe Tooney. Like I said, I would have rather just see the Dolphins develop our guys that we've got. They're all young. They all have potential. And when they were on the field this last year, they all played pretty well. So Joe Tooney, five years, 80 mil, going to the Chiefs, big, big deal. One of the top, if not the top, offensive guard in this year's class. Uh, and the third one, third one that I want to talk about is one that pissed me off. And if you guys have been watching my video for any amount of time, you will know that I have been pounding the damn table all off season that the Miami Dolphins need to make a move to try and get Corey Lindsley center from Green Bay on our team. That is a guy who is established. He has been around the league, veteran leadership, all pro last year, rated by Pro Football Focus as the top center in all of the NFL. And that's a guy who is extremely valuable to a team like Miami with a young offensive line. I was just absolutely hoping that we could have made a strong push to sign Corey Lindsley in free agency. Uh, but the Chargers swept in and are signing him to a five-year, $62.5 million deal. Uh, a little pricey, but when you break it down, we don't know what the full terms of the contract are. And they're always more than what meets the eye. Uh, not everything is guaranteed, obviously, and there's a lot of incentive-based. And then also, 
with teams that structure their contact uh, their contracts smartly with their players, uh, you can take example from guys like Kyle Van Noy and Shaq Lawson. Uh, teams who structure in a wise way uh, figure out a way to where they can cut guys without losing a ton of cap space after year one or year two. And so, you know, we really don't know what that full contract looks like yet. But like I said, uh, I'll have updates and everything on the Instagram. So to me, I would have been fine with paying Corey Lindsley five years, 62 and a half. He's a good center. He's perhaps the best center in the entire league. Tons of value. Uh, and it just pisses me off that uh, L.A., I almost called him San Diego, L.A. got their hands on Corey Lindsley. And, you know, for those of you who have been watching for a little while, I'm sure you've seen the video where I reviewed or at least reacted to Justin Herbert winning Rookie of the Year. And this is a guy who I wanted out of the draft. I wanted him above Tua. I wanted him above Burrow. This is the guy who I was all on board with. I have plenty of videos from a little over a year ago saying, this is my guy. If we're drafting and those three are on the board, I want Herbert. He has all the intangibles, the things that he lacks, he can be coached up on. Lo and behold, LA gets their hands on him, rookie of the year. And then the next time that I really, really want a player in Corey Lindsley, he's my number one guy in free agency, the Chargers get him. So it is what it is. I'm bummed out about that, but there are centers on the market still. David Andrews is out there. And if we're not a fan of all of those guys, we can go out and draft somebody. Even though that's not my top option, I'd rather get a vet. Uh, we still have options. So with all that being said, guys, I want to know your opinions down below. How do you feel about Vince Beagle? Vince Beagle? Vince Beagle. How do you feel? I can't talk sometimes because I'm dumb. How do you feel about Joe Tooney signing the massive contract that he did with the Chiefs? And how do you feel about Corey Lindsley signing with the Chargers? Let me know down below, guys. I appreciate you for stopping by. Thank you so much for the support. As I said before, subscribe to the channel down below. Like this video, and I will catch you guys very soon with tons of more content. Also, check out the Instagram, daily content, tons of NFL news with contract details. Appreciate you guys. Have an awesome night. I'll see you very soon. And as always, fins up.